Good morning, folks. In today's top story, we'll be identifying one of the potential canaries in the coal mine for the eastern world's effects of a solar grand minimum, especially India. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. However, we're looking at the last 24 hours on our star and 193 angstroms. How many ways can you describe the Earth facing quiet? Few are as telling as actually seeing a huge solar flare maker decay and fall to pieces before your eyes. No solar flaring, and there is not the slightest shred of energetic activity coming from that active region. For some perspective, compare this quiet with what a sunspot in the exact same position on our star would look like if it was indeed active at even small levels. Solar wind here. Intense stream is dropping out entirely, and Earth's magnetic field is very calm and quiet as the KP is dropping back. We do still have this electron storm at low levels, which seems to be persisting in all but the geomagnetically perturbed periods. Next stream is due Friday from the dark southern opening here. Until then, its IMF is connecting with our planet, and its kinetic alpha waves are streaming out. Quickly note, there was yet another eruption at Bogoslav yesterday that makes about 60 in the last year. Articles begin with one for the electric currents and magnetism within a solar flare region. A very informative piece, and the images used to elucidate what they are modeling and describing aren't so bad either. Top story comes to the mountain range just north of the Kashmir flashpoint. It turns out that there has been a recent anomalous cooling of the region during summertime. We've discussed how the monsoon shifts in this part of the world killed millions during the Maunder Minimum, and isolated vortices that break weather patterns like this are what we're watching for. A helical, cold, break from regularity, and they even go so far as to say it is definitively tied to the shifting monsoon. Certainly the number one most at-risk area on Earth from a precipitation perspective. Coming up here, we'll have the wind maps, a water run, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.